I miss Cape Target. <laughs>
in only <laughs> glowing vapor like really <laughs> guys i'm so excited i'm so happy as you can tell guys nothing makes me so happy like travel nothing not even in doda uh -uh. nothing if you're new here the name is queen bipa welcome welcome to my channel and if you're my regular yo thank you so much for tuning in to watch yours truly and show some love and support and guys if you're new please do stay to be part of my beautiful family by definitely subscribing hit on that notification bell to get updates from yours truly so guys as you have seen throughout the snippets in this video i've not spoken to you guys and i've just landed in Cancun, the las vegas of south africa so yeah or the new york of south africa so i just landed guys i'm here on a work trip by the way <laughs> but why can't it be business and pleasure <laughs> i'm like roller <laughs> so yes guys i'm here for work i've got a Two day workshop here so unfortunately cape town hotels are kind of fully booked so we couldn't be when i say we i'm talking about myself and my boss we couldn't be booked at the same place so thank god i'm gonna born now grow wild and young and free <laughs> nobody's gonna be policing me so yeah tomorrow my day starts exactly half past seven so I'm so excited guys because actually let me not share the news i'll share the news as time goes by but uh i'm so excited to be working in cape town um i don't know if i should vlog work but uh, i'll just show you because we're working in parliament for the next two days so yeah maybe i'll just give you a tour of parliament if they permit because yeah it can be so strict but yeah as I said, I didn't even do drip check this morning. Let me show you the outfit. So I'm wearing this sweater from Shein. You know, Shein ambassador that doesn't even get paid by Shein, but keeps on buying clothes from Shein and never learns a lesson and always runs out of money, but always has money, spare money laying around to buy Shein clothes. This one. So this top, Shein earrings, Shein. My hair is so horrible. Uh, sweatpants, um, she in sneakers, uh, pick and pay clothing, socks, pip, and yeah, no makeup, dull as fuck. I was looking cute today. So, as I said, today I'm not doing anything, I just need to prepare my presentation for tomorrow because I'm presenting on a couple of things. So, I just need to refine it, go through it so that. I'm well informed and I don't have to read. I can speak to the presentation. So I'll be doing that until, yeah, for about an hour or so. Then I need to quickly, quickly step out and do something. Then I'll be back and then I'm going to have dinner and then I'm going to call it a night. So I don't know, guys, you'll catch me in between snippets. So don't be surprised if you see me out and vlogging or if you see me at dinner and didn't announce so that is just today's um i want to say proceedings because <laughs> i'm gonna work through <laughs> this is the plan for this evening so yeah i'm booked at the sun square city bar i've never actually slept here before and it's quite nice it's youth and vibey um i've always slept at cape sun always slept at um sun square gardens always slept at sun um what is this the kalinin i've slept at um waterfront southern sun where have i not slept because i'm part of the i'm one of the um how do you call it uh i'm a loyalty member there so for me to keep on booking via Zoho sun or southern sun is to gain points so i can use them towards something beneficial so sometimes i book for my family or i book for like to go out have fun drink for free but obviously it's discounted but they use your points and stuff such a nice loyalty point system so i'm a diehard fan of sunrise reward system so yeah 
the reason why i'm always sleeping at toho sun now you know so i'm plugging you guys if you're interested and you're a traveler like me sign up to toho sun's sun Rain's loyalty point system you will never regret it i have plugged so much of my friends on this and till today they are grateful so yeah as i said uh this intro is way way too long tomorrow i've got things to do i don't even think i'll vlog but if i vlog i'll just vlog parliament give you a tour of parliament not exactly what i'm doing i don't even, i don't think i'll vlog myself presenting no <laughs> but yeah and then after that um maybe i'll just take a tour around have fun link up with a couple of people here because this is my second home i regret this is my second home because i've stayed here for almost six months yeah story for another day but yo i am blabbing let me get ready for work guys let me prepare for work and then i'll check you guys later if i don't check you guys later ciao ciao for now i'll see you tomorrow all right love you lots don't forget to subscribe <laughs> I think I've been to Parliament about six, seven times, and it's never the same. I guess, like 
where I was today, I've never seen that place. So it's like there's always something new to explore and learn in Parliament. And yeah, we had quite a productive session. Unfortunately, I was not able to present this time because of time. But yeah, it was awesome. Very, very much awesome. And yeah, it's always good. Let go. Work was so good today. Like I had a very good day and I looked so cute <laughs> i looked absolutely cute guys like i loved my fit oh, my hand is tired like i really loved my fit and a lot of people complimented me and it was so cute like it was so adorable and you know something i can tell you guys like 70 percent of people in the room were white <laughs> And, hmm, I wonder why. Story for another day. I'm not being racist, by the way. No, it's not a racist comment. It's just something I've observed as I'm embarking, or we as an office are embarking on a provincial roadshow. And I am just noting the differences. It's just that when I was in Rustenburg, I didn't film the people there which were all black and only one white person. So that's very alarming. But hmm. anyway, <laughs> I don't want to get into the nitty gritties and talk like in depth about this analysis, but maybe for story for another, definitely story for another day. So today is the 11th of May. And um, today we are doing nothing. I'm back from work. So as I said, I'm going to run an errand of getting myself some snacks and some wine and relax and have dinner and sleep. Yo, today I missed my alarm. What happened to my freaking phone? Her phone. Like, I don't understand. Her phone. I really don't understand. But I made it on time. I had to rush, rush, rush things. And um, lucky enough, this face beat didn't take so long. It's like 30 minutes or so. So... I have to also process a document that's due at work. So when I come back, I'm going to work on that document, then send it to my boss for approval. And then when they get back in Pretoria, um, it will be printed and submitted. So I still need to work when I come back. But yeah, let me just go for a walk and refresh my mind. But the weather. <laughs> It's like each time I come to Pretoria, gosh, each time I come to Cape Town, it's always raining. Even the last time I was here before this trip or journey, it was raining and I was going to Parliament. <laughs> Funny, very ironic. But yeah, that was just the festivities of today. Nothing much. If you don't see me, you'll see me at Dim's. If you don't see me at dance, you'll see me having a bottle of wine and relaxing. So, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It's the one and only Queen Bee Pass. Signing out. Shoot.